Hey guys, this is Chris, and this is fake news. Um, I'm calling it fake news because Hubson's creating some fake news on the Xeno. And what that is, is in their Facebook group, uh, this is the Hubson official Facebook group, um, for Xeno, I'm sorry, the Hubson official Xeno group, I think it's called. And um, what they've done is they've gone and deleted all the negative content. And they've even kicked out some members and blocked them. Now, these members have not done anything wrong. Um, I was one that was removed and blocked. Um, I don't think that I ever said anything that was disrespectful or rude. I don't like to go in and shit on somebody else's group. Um, but I will bring awareness and I will basically say the same things that I say in my videos with the problems with the Xeno. So I was removed. I'm not surprised whatsoever and nor am I disappointed, but because I can still get in. Um, but, um, I posted in my group, my Hubson QC help and support group, I posted, uh, just saying that stuff was deleted and that I was removed from the group. And um, it turns out I already knew one other person was removed, and it turns out a couple more people were removed. <clears throat> now, I had seen a couple of these people's posts because I recognize them from my group, and um, these are good guys. They, they did not do anything wrong. All they did was report their problems and... Um, uh, mainly reported the truth that Hubson is not helping them. Hubson is not doing anything about the problems. Um, these are warranty issues, uh, burnt out Wi-Fi board, um, disconnected issues and crashes that, you know, everybody in bed with Hubson is just saying it's pilot error right off the bat without understanding or knowing what actually happened. Um, and then, you know, one who I talked to back and forth a good bit, um, he just expressed a few simple little things. They were, uh, putting out some sort of a video contest and, uh, he didn't really say anything negative at all. He just said, I can't wait to see how this goes. And, um, shortly after that he was removed. Um... One thing I want to point out in the group, uh, there is nothing negative really being said at all. It's all fluff. It's all just a perfect world in the Hubson Zeno Facebook group. So any new new people that pop up in there, they're, they're going to be falsely led to believe that everything is perfectly fine with the Xeno. You're really not seeing all the main issues and problems in this Facebook group, and that's pretty sad. So Hubson is flat out just lying. They're creating fake news or fake advertising on the Xeno. Um, one I want to point out, though, you know, one guy says, I was so excited about the Xeno, but I keep reading problem stories. So where do you stand on this once promising drone? And you got this Akif Akhtar. Um, he instantly says, you know, most of the problems are user-oriented. Um, normally, I would agree with you on that with some things, but why don't you answer the guy's question and be honest and tell him some of the problems with the quad. Um, so Ak Akif Akhtar is probably one of these beta testers and doesn't want to ruffle any feathers. Um, you've got people in there like the Peter Martin. I'm not going to get all deep in that because it seems like I'm just, you know, hashing out on Peter Martin all the time, but, uh, He'll jump in and answer on any post that says anything negative about the Xeno. So if you're in that group or if you join that group, say something negative if it's true. Uh, and you'll quickly find Peter Martin will join your post. He just can't resist it unless he uh, 
goes away on vacation and has no Wi-Fi service and does us all a favor and disappears for about a month. And then you'll see a group come to life because when he starts talking, nobody else is, is right and uh, he'll quickly shut you down. But let's not drag that out. Um, you have the typical people that like to be in every single hubs and group they can be in. Um, you've got your Brian Young, your Peter Martin, your Andrew Wood, um, this Octif guy uh, now is kind of a new one that I'm seeing, and um, one other person, but I'll talk about him in a little bit. Um, but the typical people, they have their own group. They have to be in every other group. They have to dominate the posts. They have to make sure they're in the Hubson eye and get all of Hubson's attention and deflect any negative comments. And they're quickly to, they're the ones that are hitting the button, report to admin, sending messages to Hubson like little children. They're, they're actually a, a brat pack of babies is what they are. But anyhow, if you go to the Hubson app or the Hubson official Xeno group, which you can see I still have access to it. They blocked me, but there's ways around that, obviously. If I go through and read all these, uh, the most negative stuff you see is can't connect to the Xeno forum, <laughs> which I'm going to explain that one too. Um, and the rest is all just pretty little videos. Um, one guy says flyaways, burnout Wi-Fi, disconnections. What are people talking about? I've had my Xeno since November. I've had none of these issues. You're one person, dude. So many people are able to fly them. Uh, I have one with a bad Wi-Fi. I have one without a bad Wi-Fi, which means I can fly one. I don't have the issue with that one. Use your head you are not the whole community. If you're reading a lot of people saying these things, then it's true. <laughs> if I was the only one sitting here screaming this stuff out, then you might as well say, hey, Chris, Chris is just pull, you know, full of bullshit here. Um, but it just goes to show that's another post that uh, is just kind of, making everything look good. Um, and then it's, you know, a bunch of videos that says, um, Zeno is fantastic. Um, happy Zeno, happy February, happy weekend, happy Friday. Obviously these videos are from the same person, but, um, that's mainly all they're doing is they're showing all the videos. Um, there's a lot less talk about it. There's no talk about any problems. Um, other than, you know, updated the ups, the Hubson app and lost GPS data. Uh, I think he means the flight record. Um, other than things like that, all the negativity is gone. So Hubson has gone and cleaned up their group, made everything look nice and pretty for the Xeno and any upcoming new members that come in there looking to find out information about the Xeno, they're just going to get false content. So buyers beware of the Hubson official Xeno group. It's shady. And that leads me on to the Hubson forum. So normally you wouldn't think this is a big deal because Maybe the server's down, but with them going and deleting all this stuff and kicking people out, and then the same day, <coughs> all of a sudden, the Hubson Forum. If you go to the Hubson.com, click up top on the forum, that takes you into the forum, and then you have categories of things to talk about. The Xeno was getting slammed. It looked really, really bad. Anybody that went there and looked at that Xeno, you could forget if I were new to it and I was going in there and reading it, there's no way in hell I would buy the Xeno. And these are not 
false stories that are written. Some things are a little bit exaggerated. And there is always pilot error. There, there, it does exist. Um, but for the Xeno right now, it's pretty clear it's got some issues. So if you're up flying over a tree and you turn left and go down and hit that tree, then uh, that's not pilot error. The quad has an issue where it flies and it dips down if you turn left. So Hubson just says, do not fly above trees. That you're, you're not supposed to do that, basically. Um, these posts are also gone. But uh, on the... Um, sorry, I'm distracted because I'm trying to pull pull the forum up just to show you. But um, Hubson is now telling people, make sure you fly it in a wide open spaces in a field. Um, so that's just to accommodate the problems. Um, so they're not admitting, hey, we have problems right now at the moment. We just recommend you take it safe. Uh, they are telling you, fly in an open field. You're not supposed to be flying over top of trees. And then other members are saying that's pilot error. I fly over top of trees. I live in the mountains. I have a lot of trees and mountains and no real low flat spaces to fly. Um, I don't want to fly in a park, watch a bunch of people walking their dogs. I don't want to walk, uh, fly in a park and watch people walking around the track. Um, most videos I see, people want to video things like trees. Uh, rivers, lakes, oceans, cliffs, uh, monuments, stuff like that. So don't do that, guys, because Hubson's telling you not to. But anyhow, if you go to the Xeno forum, this is what you get. It's down. And like I said, normally you would not find that very odd. But since they went and did all, everything they did today with the, or yesterday, I'm sorry, with the Hubson Facebook group, I imagine they're in there cleaning up right now. So they're probably cleaning this forum, forum up and we're going to hear that it was under maintenance and then it'll pop up and everything will look rosy and perfect. Um, I'm not stupid. I remember what was in there. And when I get go back in there, then I'm going to see all of a sudden all this stuff missing. I'm going to say something. Hopefully other people will too. People should be making a big deal of this if this does turn out to be the case, if this is what Hubson ends up doing. Um, or maybe they'll just tell us that uh, there was a big problem and the whole thing got wiped out. I don't know. So um, it could turn out that the server is down or what I suspect is that they're cleaning house. So keep an eye out for that when the forum comes back up. But uh, that's why I'm including this in my uh, video for fake news because I think they're up to some, some hijinks trying to make the Xeno look all perfect and pretty. Um, but unfortunately, people are very smart and uh you know we'll see that posts are posts are missing it's just going to create a lot of talk a lot of people are going to be talking about it um you've got this video right here uh if this turns out to be the case with the forum just like they did in the facebook group i encourage as many people as possible make a video and bring awareness uh, this is not the type of company that you want to purchase a quad from that has some issues. Um, I try and try to support Hubson if they can do a good job, but when they do things like this, it makes it a lot harder. It's like going to Amazon and um, some sellers will give away products for reviews for free, re you know, a free product and you have to write a positive review. Well, that's that's totally false advertising, and that's what Hubson's doing right here, except they're not giving away free drones. They're just completely de deleting stuff and only keeping the good. 
which I think there's some Chinese hobby places that do that too. I don't think it's Banggood, but uh, maybe Ally Express or one of those. But I remember somebody saying one of the places where they get all their hobby stuff, um, they delete all your all your negative reviews and they only keep positive reviews. Um, I don't know which one that is. It just came to mind. But um, so that's pretty much it. That's the fake news. Um, I, I, I really do think that uh, some of these Brat Pack guys are behind it as well because they are they're a bunch of babies and um, they're really quick to hit that button. I guarantee it and report something to the admin. All you got to do is click a button, report it to the admin, and then the admin decides if that will stay or go or to get rid of that member. Um, they're also very big babies to where they like to message Hubson and kind of throw what I call, a, I call it a threat, tell Hubson that we will no longer support you if you keep this person or if you do this. Uh, at one time I was the administrator of the main Hubson group. Um, I've, do, I've done quite a bit for Hubson, a lot more than people actually think or know. Um, and I was in pretty deep with Hubson. Um, so at that one time I was also the administrator of that main Facebook group. Well, these members in the Brat Pack, what they do is they contact Hubson and I, I saw the messages. Uh, one member actually, or one person of that Brat Pack actually said, we will no longer support you as long as Christopher Wade is admin of this group. Now, if any of you know me, all I do is help. Um, sure, there's bad press out there about me, but those are people that have been removed from my group. And if you've been removed from my group, it's within good reason. Um, it's not because you challenge me. It's not because you hurt my feelings. I think you can tell that I, my feelings aren't going to get hurt very easy. Um, sometimes there's conflict because I, I just tell it like it is. Uh, I joke and sometimes people don't understand and then their feelings get hurt and before you even have a chance to apologize they're going off on you and resorting to name calling um, but th this is what these guys uh, you're Brian Young and Peter Martin and Andrew Wood this is the type of stuff they do they're all in this group and I, I imagine they're kind of behind uh, this, um, a lot of the conflict stuff that, uh, was going on, Peter Martin was involved in those conversations. So I guarantee he's the one clicking report to admin. Um, really, they're just a group of babies. Uh, I really wish a bunch of people would just start telling them off so they would stay out of these groups. If they stay out of these groups, so many more people will have a voice. Um, as soon as, you know, they start taking command, they suck the air out of the room, and people start shutting up, uh, except those who are in their group and uh, closer to them. But the average person that doesn't know them and feels intimidated by them or something like that um, is just going to shut up. He's, he stops talking, so um, I think they're partly behind it, and but the biggest thing is Hubson is, is definitely not doing the right thing. There is false advertising uh, by just showing all the good, pretty fluffy stuff about the Xeno. So that's it. That's all the fake news that uh, I have to report with this video. Um, all the stuff being deleted within their Hubson official Xeno group and the members being removed, including myself, which I really don't care because, um, like I said, I can still get in there. And um, uh, the Hubson forum, that's something to keep an eye out for. So keep your eye on the Hubson forum. See when it comes back. Let's see how the Xeno looks. Um, I did a lot of reading the past couple days on the forum, so I, I will know if things are missing, and I'm sure other people will too, especially those who posted negative stuff. If your stuff's gone, I would uh, reach out to Hubson publicly 
in one of the Facebook groups and uh, call them out. So um, I've done that in my group. I've already called them out and said something about them deleting content and removing members. I don't expect them to reply, but they will see it because they're in every group and they do see these things. So uh, that's it. And um, if you don't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe, spread the word, subscribe if you really want the truth about the Xeno. Um, and like I've said in my other videos, if that truth turns into positive, I will, I will by all means report it. I'm not against the Xeno. I want it to work. Um, I'm against the crap that Hubson's now pulling. Uh, I'm against how they've dealt with and handled this Xeno and a lot of these beta testers, um, which leads me to one more last thing. I'm sorry. You've got one beta tester that's part of this. He's also part of this group with Brian and Peter and all them. His name is Mag. Um, I have nothing bad to say about Mag. So Mag, I just want to say to you, thumbs up, buddy. Um, keep up the good work. Don't stop what you're doing. But I do want to make a recommendation. If you paid for your drone uh, and you're going to continue testing the way you are and helping so many people, be smart. Do what I did. Make Hubson send you a free sample. Don't use your own stuff. Uh, make them send you free samples because uh, one guy as that was re, uh, that was deleted from the Hubson Facebook group. He reported that he was a uh, beta tester. He had an issue. His quad's gone, and Hubson will not help him. He's left in the du dust. Uh, so. Get a sample from a mag and um, don't risk your own quad. Uh, but my thumbs are up. My thumb, both thumbs are up to you, buddy. Uh, you're doing a great job. Any of you guys see mag in the groups helping people, make sure you, you know, give them a pat on the back. Tell them good job. Thank you for all your hard work. Um, people like that. That's what this community needs. This hobby needs um, people that are just willing to do nothing but help um not belittle belittle you or put you down or anything like that and that's what i like about mag uh i see that he's dealing with people of all levels people with experience without experience that are in the middle whatever and uh, he does not treat them any differently he does not talk down to them he does not instantly tell them it's pilot error or anything like that um so personally, Mag, I'm sure you probably don't like me because I don't like the guys that you're associated with. Um, they're, I'm not going to say any more about them. But uh, I do respect you and what you're doing, obviously, because I've been there, done that. And I know how exhausting it is. I know how much work it is. But I do want to tell you, make sure they get you a sample tell them you want a sample if you're going to do any more um, they should see your value I, I see your value i'm sure everybody else sees your value you're all over the place and you're helping a lot of people so hubson should uh, send you a sample um, that's it just wanted to make sure i uh, you know gave some recognition to him uh, I'm not picking on him one bit. I know that he's close with these guys, Peter Martin and Brian Young and them. Um, but uh, he's good for the hobby. And I'm sorry, I don't, I don't, whatever you see in Peter Martin and Brian Young and them, they're not good for the hobby, trust me. Uh, I've been with Hubson doing this, this stuff for three years. I've known Brian Young, Peter Martin. I've had, I've been in their group. I've been... I've had confrontations for stupid little things. I've been removed from their group. Uh, constant games with them, you know, telling Hubson they won't support them if they're working with me or I'm admin of their Hubson group and things like that. Um, they're behind a lot of the negative things that have been done towards me in the past. So um, that's it. Uh, if you don't subscribe to my channel, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to keep you up to date with the honest stuff. And like I said, when it, when it turns out to be positive, you're going to hear it. Um, and hopefully that will be soon. Hopefully soon we will have a lot more positive content. Uh, 
but um, they better get their act together real quick because, like I said in my other video, the FEMI uh, X8 is coming, and um, I think it's going to be a big deal change for, for Hubson. It's really going to knock them loose a little bit. So, uh, Hubson, you're not being smart right now. You're making some really stupid decisions with your Facebook group and hopefully not with your forum. And um, you really need to up your customer service and help these people out better. There's, I, I get tons of messages of all the people that you're just absolutely not helping. Um, and if you guys don't believe me, make up a fake email account. Uh, send Hubson a email telling them a problem and see what kind of support you get. If it's easy, no problem whatsoever. If it looks like it's going to be replacing your drone, you've got major issues <laughs> because it, they just don't want to help you out with that. Um, so that's it. It's getting late here, and I uh, just wanted to get this video out real quick, so I'm going to upload it and call it a night. So... Thanks a lot, and uh, subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of things coming up with the Xeno uh, modifications and just all kinds of good useful information. So um, there's, there's a lot of content getting ready to come up as long as I have the time to make these videos. So uh, thanks for everybody for subscribing. Give that thumbs up to the video, and um, take care.